Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sobe Food. I hope you're having a good day. Barbecued pulled pork, Japanese dumplings, AKA gyoza. These are a few of my favorite things. What if they had a kid? That's right, barbecued pulled pork gyoza. We're doing it. Delicate pulled pork encased in a chewy, crispy dumpling wrapper. I can't wait to show it to you. Go to asobefood.com, all right, for all the ingredients in the written recipe. Let's get started. Begin by finely dicing half of a head of Napa cabbage. Add three packed cups of cabbage to a strainer set over a bowl and sprinkle in two teaspoons of kosher salt. Let the cabbage sit for 15 minutes to draw out the liquid. After 15 minutes, place the cabbage into a kitchen towel and wring out excess water by squeezing firmly. Add the cabbage to a large mixing bowl. Add in five stalks of minced green onions and three cups of cold pork. Mix to combine. Mix in three quarters of a cup to one cup of barbecue sauce. You want a sticky mixture, but not wet. Be sure to check out my recipe for barbecue pork shoulder and spicy homemade barbecue sauce. This makes the perfect filling for barbecue pork gyoza. Let's make some gyoza. Place about a half tablespoon worth of filling into the center of a wrapper. Lightly wet the edges with water using your finger. Starting at one end, fold the dumpling into a crescent. Firmly press together the edges while adding in pleats on one side every centimeter or so. Aim for six to seven pleats per gyoza. Be sure to remove excess air from the dumpling before completely sealing the dumpling. Lightly press the dumpling's flat side and continue to shape it into a crescent. Continue this process, laying out the dumplings on a parchment lined baking sheet. You can freeze the dumplings for up to two months in a heavy duty freezer bag. To cook, preheat a non-stick pan over medium heat for about 30 seconds. Add in one tablespoon of vegetable or light olive oil and evenly distribute. Place the dumplings flat side down in a single layer. Dissolve in one teaspoon of cornstarch to a half cup of water. Increase the heat to medium high and add in the cornstarch water mixture. Cover the pan with a lid and steam the gyoza for about three minutes. Remove the lid, reduce the heat to medium, and continue cooking until the water evaporates and the gyoza is golden and crisp on the bottom. So there you have it folks, barbecued pork gyoza, the best of two worlds coming together in one incredible bite. This has got so much texture, so much flavor. I've never tasted something like this before. I really hope you take a stab. If you liked it today, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And that does it for me. Be sure to come back to a Sobe Food where you get what you need to succeed in the kitchen. I'm the host, Jamie. I love you. See you next week. I'm digging in. Mm -hmm. oh, you hear the crispiness? The barbecue flavor, smoky, sweet, spicy. These are the perfect little munchies. See y'all. What? No, I was gonna save you one. Okay, there.